Hey, what's up everybody? It's the tree. How are you? Okay, well, I had some things I wanted to talk to you about, to explain some things to you. And I want to tell you about, well, okay, the, the Jews, okay, and why they were called God's chosen people, and why Jesus was called the King of the Jews, and about King Herod, and stuff. And I want to explain a little bit to you, and you can check me on this too. Um, uh, okay, well, I actually got this information in a vision. And then I went, and that's how I get most of my information is dreams or visions or hunches. And then I go and I find out the best I can. And um, so anyways, I was shown that um, King Herod was Jewish. Now, King Herod was at the time of Caesar and Pilate and stuff, and Caesar of oh, Rome and stuff. You know, he was the main dude. And he was um, Roman, okay. And one of his favorite kings was King Herod. Because King Herod had the ability to scare the people into paying the taxes, you know. I mean, it was like there was all these people that were um, paying these taxes and doing these sacrifices. And anyway, the people were easy to control under Herod. Herod was able to control the people by through fear. And so he brought Caesar a lot of money and a lot of power. In other words, he knew how to keep the people in line. And so... Caesar loved that, you know what I'm saying? He was like one of his favorite kings. And then, Jesus was called the king of David, or the, they, they're, they're, excuse me, the king of the Jews, you know, when he died and stuff, they said they scraped that on his forehead and stuff. The reason Jesus was called the king of the Jews, not because he was Jewish, but I'm going to explain to you why here. Okay, King Herod, when he died, he had another brother who took over the, the um, throne. Now, when King Herod was king, and he was Jewish, um, there was Jewish people in high level positions in the government, in the military, and in the castles, and the royal quarters, and stuff like that. So there was pe people that were Jewish that held very high rank, okay, like I said, the military, the government, or the castles, or whatever. And that's when King Herod was king, because he was Jewish. Now when he died, he had a brother that took over the throne, and this brother, um, was kind of soft and he wasn't able to intimidate the people or control them and so the people started rebelling against um, you know having to pay all the taxes and everything that was being forced upon them that wasn't fair and so they started to stand up you know and rebel and <clears throat> so Caesar was like fuck excuse me he's like this this dude he was nothing like his brother King Herod and he could not control the people and keep them in line and get them to pay the taxes and the money and do what they were told. And so he was exiled from being a king. He was dethroned. And um, every single person that was uh, Jewish um, in their high-level positions, every person that was Jewish anywhere um, was dethroned and kicked out of their offices and, you know, all the high-level positions they held. Every single one was just ex exiled and, like, put on the streets. And, see, you might wonder sometimes if Jewish, people that are Jewish, if it's actually a nationality or if it's a religion. Well, at first it was a nationality. <clears throat> okay. And then when um, the Jews were exiled, they were left without... Um, a religion, because the religion that they practiced while under Caesar was, you know, the Roman Catholic religion and, you know, their belief system. So when they were exiled and stuff, they didn't have a belief system anymore and a religion and they were left, you know, and hated, and hated. That's one reason, you know, hating the Jews and stuff like that. Hey, can you guys be a little quiet in the background because I'm recording? Thanks! Okay, um, party going on back there, no. Anyhow, so the Jews were hated and um, they were left like, you know, on the streets without jobs and without a religion or a belief system because, like I said, the religion that they used was the ones that were under the Romans. And, they're, so, and they were pissed, too. And then this is the time of Jesus, though. So Jesus, he was walking around teaching people what he knew, okay, and stuff. And um, the Jews, they didn't have, you know, they were, they were exiled from the castles and all their positions and... They were hated and they lost their jobs. They didn't have money. They were, what did they do? And so they all, every Jew that there was, went 
you know, started to follow Jesus and listen to him. And Jesus, um, that's why they called him the king of the Jews, and Jesus taught them the real truth, the real, um, the Kabbalah, you know, and stuff. Um, and it was given to them, these scriptures, these manuscripts, were given to the Jewish people in their completeness and in all truth. It wasn't any lies and there wasn't anything in there that was um, deceptive or manipulative or, or, you know, edited or anything. He gave the real word of God, you know, he what he knew Jesus told and gave to the Jews and left those manuscripts with them because the Jews, made, he, they became his people. And that's why they called Jesus the king of the Jews. When he died, you know, and they were carved on his forehead like, you know, in a mean way, king of the Jews, like, uh, like that. And that's what happened. And so then the Jewish people became, it became a religion. Okay, so, and um, that's one reason they were called God's chosen people and stuff like that. And um, so there's been a lot of problems between the Jews and uh, religion and, you know, um, like what happened with the Holocaust and stuff like that with Hitler and stuff like that. And, you know, Jews, Jewish people, um, they have a history because they were the ones that were exiled from the, um, they were exiled by Caesar and from all their high level positions and kicked out of the street like they were dirt. You know, first of all, they're like high ranking military officers or government officials or, or, or priests or whatever, you know, really like elite. They were global elites. But then when King Herod died, and then his little brother couldn't keep them in control anymore, and they rebelled. He was kicked out of being a king, and so there has never been a Jewish king then, since then. And so that's just a little bit I wanted to tell you about the Jewish people and what happened and why you know they're called God's chosen people and why Jesus was called the King of the Jews in a blasphemous way. And uh, that's just one little vision that I got from Homer. I call our creator Homer for home because, well, that's, you know, he tells me that the name God, he says when people pray to God, he don't want to fight the crowd. Every egomaniac on every dimension is answering. If they, if it, you know, every egomaniac with any type of power or ability of perception or whatever, will answers. And he don't want to fight the crowd. And he tells me that the name God has made his people forget him. And Homer, he, he shows me himself like kind of like um kind of like Merlin and kind of like Santa Claus and kind of like the Green Man, you know. And um, he's um that's kind of how I see him. And anyway, I'm not saying God's name is Homer. I'm just saying I call him Homer for home. But he tells me that if you relate to him and communicate him in your own personal way without a name or a you know a feeling, then he will present himself and show himself to you. And I've been shown visits. He's been showing me visions, well, since I've been a little girl, since I can remember. Um, but he shows me a lot about what happened about certain things <clears throat> that happened in the Bible and back in those days and even before then. And don't believe anything I say, anything, unless you check me on it or you feel it in your heart. You know, and if something you don't understand or don't seem right, put it on the shelf whatever but the truth is inside of us and it's not a time a life to learn it's a life to remember you know what I'm saying and I haven't got it all figured out yet I haven't got the, it hasn't all been given to me yet but I won't stop until I do get the truth and I will deliver it all just the way I got it and when I get your grail gifts your divine birthrights back when I go get your crowns back which I'm going to do that's why I'm going for the crown Queen Elizabeth and stuff is because she's wearing all your crowns on her head and she's got all you guys on puppet strings and the Sangarians. And she's, you know, oh, i got to tell you more about that too later. But I think I might be almost out of time. Hang on, wait, did you? What time did I come on? I came on at uh, 3 or 4.37 and now it's 4.47. Okay, so I love you. I love you all so much. Okay? Um, I love you so much. Hmm?